Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a quick update on what we have in the works for Playout B version 2. Some of you might have noticed that uh, we've been a little quiet over the, the last year and uh, there's a good reason for it. We spent the last year completely redoing our output engine and also re-engineering uh, the whole backend so it's a full code rewrite and we're really excited to show you all of the new features. Uh, let's have a look at what Playout B version 2.0 has to offer to you and the first thing you'll see immediately it is now in a dark mode design we updated our design a little let's uh, load up a first clip and uh, have a look how you can use it so i have a couple test files in here and you'll see the first difference you can now also load image files and video files so i have like a couple holding slides and a couple images and this is also a really great addition that a lot of you have been asking for for a while. You can now upload multiple assets at the same time. Now that we have all of these files imported, let's bring over an output window. Um, this is the HTML output like you are used to. We also are going to have a full screen Electron output um, for the Electron version. And you can also use this within Casper CG, VMix and OBS to get key fill out through deck links or just overlay it as a web source. Now we can play. There's a little snowstorm that I have there. We can also play this background video. What you'll notice is that the switch between them is very clean. We took a lot of care this time to make sure that there's no black frames between them. You can also see that we can switch to these different images. And then you are probably wondering what does this little settings wheel here do? One of the really cool things that we added with this version is you can now set in and out points. So if you get a file or an asset that isn't quite right, you can set an in and an out point. So now we can set an in point and an out point here. You'll see it's update. And if we now uh, switch to this again, you'll see it runs there. You see now it's only 20 seconds long. We can also manipulate the volume. You can also say what should happen at the end of this clip. So you can say pause, which will just uh, freeze on the last frame. You can say play next, which will go to the next video and play it. You can say go to next, which will just go to the next video. You can say glue, which will play it again from the endpoint. And you can say reset, which is just gonna reset and stop it at the end point. The other new thing in here is rotation. So what you can do right now is you can rotate it by zero degrees. It's normal 90, 180 or 270. And the intention behind this is if you get like a phone video that is short or is tagged incorrectly with rotation, normally we try to see the rotation of the video and place it correctly on the frame. You can also help us by uh, correcting it in there and then we'll rotate it for you. Then we have duplicate and a delete button. The delete button we hit it a little bit so it's a little harder to delete the uh, assets and duplicate is a new feature that we added because now you can add the same asset multiple times what's really cool with that you can now have the same asset three times and let's say you want the first 10 seconds the 10 seconds to 20 seconds and the last 10 seconds so you can now have these three different files and then for example put a graphic in between we also overhaul the settings a little bit so uh, it looks a lot nicer and you actually get a better explanation within the app. I hope you enjoyed this quick overview of what is coming for Player B version 2. If you're watching this uh, close to Black Friday or shortly after Black Friday at Cyber Monday, there's also a big discount that we are giving on all our products right now. So uh, check out the description.